most amazing artist. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today I'm going to walk you through how to do batik in an art elementary classroom. So batik is traditionally done with fabric, right? And you apply wax to certain areas where you don't want it to be dyed. Um, after you've applied your wax in whatever pattern and design that you want for your fabric, you will dye it and wherever you put the wax, it's going to resist that dye and that pattern will show up after you dye it. So in the classroom, we're not gonna use fabric. We're going to use um, just paper. This is normal paper and we've done an oil pastel drawing on this paper. Um, this is a fall leaf project where we talk about branching lines, warm colors, and cool colors, but you can do this process with any picture that you want to. It just has to be done in oil pastels. Um, you could do a pumpkin if you're in the mood for fall. You could do a snowflake, whatever you want to do. But after you have covered your entire piece of paper with your oil pastels and you tried your best to get all that white space, then you're ready to do our batik process. So we did these in oil pastels because the pastels are going to resist this paint that we're going to put on it. And um, you might look at me a little crazy, but the first step to do this is we're actually going to crinkle our paper. And we're gonna do that by taking our paper and sprinkling it into a ball, okay? We're doing this to put cracks inside of our oil pastel drawing. We want those cracks to show up when we put the paint on there. So what I did was I just crumpled it up, not too hard because I don't wanna mess up all that hard work I've already done. Then I'm gonna uncrumple it. And you might see some of your colors getting onto each other and that's totally fine. And I'm gonna crumple it for a second time. Okay, so we just need to crumple it once, open it up, crumple it one more time, open it back up, and we're ready to add our fabric dye, but we're actually just using tempera paint. So after you crumple your paper twice and uncrumple it, you're gonna lay it out flat and you'll see all these little cracks that we just put into our oil pastel drawing. After we put the paint onto our paper, that paint is gonna seep into those cracks and they will show up after we wash it off and you'll see that in just a minute. So we're not gonna be painting just paint on here. This is black tempera paint, but I've also mixed in some dish soap and a little bit of water, and that's going to help it rinse off a lot better in the next step, because after we cover this entire picture with our paint, we are going to rinse it off. And what's gonna happen is that paint is going to seep into those cracks that we just made and it's going to look really, really cool. Where there's no cracks, those that oil pastel is going to resist this paint. So it's kind of acting like how the wax would on a traditional batik, like how the wax will resist the fabric dye when they put it on the fabric. Okay, you can see it's starting to get some bubbles in there, that's because of the dish soap, but I'm just going around in circles trying to cover up every single last bit of my picture. And I have a big fluffy brush to do this. And I forgot to mention, I also have a laminated messy mat underneath my work. That's gonna help me uh, whenever we bring this over to the sink because it's gonna act like a tray. Bring it over to the sink and Miss Emma's going to help you rinse this paint off. You might get some paint on your fingers and that's fine. Art can be messy, we all know that, but what matters is we don't make a mess on purpose, friends, okay? So if you get some on your fingers, that's okay. I'll give you a wipe at the end of class, but try your best to not make a mess, okay? After every little bit of your picture is covered with that paint mixture. I'm just going to go over it a couple times to double check and make sure that I'm not missing any areas. And when you're done adding your paint to your entire picture, just like this, you are going to take your messy mat with both hands, friends. Don't try to carry it like a, a pizza or like a waitress at a restaurant. Carry it with both hands because if this falls on the ground, oh my goodness, we would have a huge, huge mess. So please be careful whenever you're taking this over to the sink and you're going to wait in line at the sink and Miss M is going to help you rinse off all of this paint and you will see what happens when we rinse it off. So let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, we have been transported over to the sink. And uh, as you can see, I have my artwork here. I'm gonna take it off of the messy mats. And I'm gonna carefully rinse it off with water. You don't want this water to be going too hard because we don't want our paper to rip. So just running very slowly and you'll start to see that paint rinse off. And you can already see the cracks starting to appear whenever you rinse this off. So we have to be super gentle with this because this is paper and we don't want it to get too wet and rip. But I'm just kind of helping the process along by rubbing it with my finger slightly to help get all of that paint off. And it's okay if you don't get all of it off. What's most important is that this paper does not rip. So when if you feel it starting to get weak, then we want to be super careful and make sure it doesn't rip. But as you can see, most of the paint is off. So I'm gonna turn the water off. All right, I just finished rinsing it off and you can see all of those amazing, beautiful cracks that we put in there. That paint soaked right into those cracks. And everywhere else, you can still see your leaves and the background, those beautiful warm and cool colors, our branching lines. Okay, like I said, you can do this process with any oil pastel drawing. And we just need to let this dry and then they are ready to be hung up in the hallway. I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing this awesome petite process. It is a little bit messy as you can tell by Miss M's hands, but that's okay. I can't wait to see how your final batiks turn out. I know they're gonna be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.